ladies and jellyfish and wizzle of sizes, welcome to the Turtles in the Hair review from the 1987 Ninja Turtles. Thanks for watching. Wow, it's Easter again, eh? Well, hence why it's Easter, I thought I should make an Easter special. And instead of making one of those happy Easter specials, I thought I should make a super review on an Easter special from the 1987 Ninja Turtles. Let's get started. First of all, this is a parody of the tortoise and the hare, which is why the title is the turtles and the hare, but we'll get into that as we get into the review. So this is obviously from the 1987 Ninja Turtles, as I already mentioned, and the um, title is called The Turtles and the Hare. Okay, uh, yeah, so it starts off with Donnie wanting to tell the guys about this new invention he made where he can paint eggs with the machine instead of having to do it all himself. And then Mikey ruins it. He, uh, yeah, accidentally goes on it and ruins the whole thing. Hey, what were you going to do if you got a dinosaur egg in there, eh, Donnie? <laughs> no? Okay, whatever. So we go get cut to Krang and the Shredder, who are both mumbling idiots. And we see Bebop and Rocksteady in some rabbit costumes, and they leave the place with some... Maybe one or two funny jokes, and then they leave. Nothing special here. And then we go to April's workplace, where it, uh, she wants to get someone in the bunny suit for Easter, but no one wants it because they'll ruin their reputation. And then the guy who was just saying that uh, finally gets payback for it. But the animation is just so weird. It feels like the 1967 Spider-Man. Everything's so shaky. But anyway, we get Bebop and, Bebop and Rock City coming in there and zapping people with some rays. We don't know what that is yet, but yeah. Then we get cut to the Ninja Turtles in their car. In the Battle Cell or whatever they called it in the 87 series. Um, yeah, they're just driving and then April calls them and tells them that everyone is zapped. And then they show up. And then when they get there, they see that everyone, including April, is zapped, and they're scared of everything, apparently. So this zap makes you have a phobia towards everything, towards everything, basically. And they have some fun, unfunny jokes, be walking rock steady, zap the turtles. But then uh, when they ask the Shredder, he says that mutants can't get, like, zapped. They hold someone hostage for like three seconds, they drop their weapons, and then they leave because of the Shredder's orders. Now, this seems very feebly short, and I think it should have been, if they were going to do it, they should have made it longer, and if they didn't have time, then screw it. Um, and they take out their guns, and then the Shredder calls them, so they have to leave. Please note that these bunny costumes they're wearing is all a practical joke. It's not even there. This episode has nothing to do with Easter other than some small sprinkles and jokes. So, yeah, the Ninja Turtles say that April and the others are zapped. The Wild and Rock Steady run, like in the streets, and are about to zap everyone. And then the Turtles go back to the lair where Donnie says that the only cure to the scaring phobia zap is a diamond or a crystal you have to get in another dimension which means they have to have a portal to go into the other dimension where in that place they see the big bad wolf and the three little pigs and then Wrath and um, Leo jump right into it and now this is the Shredder's lair which looks more like R2-D2 with two sides sticking out of him but anyway, let's not be critical about this dump show. Um, yeah, so we get here, and the Shredder is mumbling, as usual. This episode has no kick-butt action, so don't think there is, because this show sucks at that. They just try to be funny, but they fail badly. So this big giant in the other dimension gets their shell cell, which means uh, Donnie can't be in touch with them. At least, I don't know if it's called a shell cell back then. And then when April has to do a report, her and everyone else is scared of everything, which 
tried to be funny, but I guess they failed on their butt. Maybe it's supposed to be funny to, like, six-year-olds. I don't know what age watched this. But be Wop and Rocksteady C, and then the Shredder looks at April. April's scared, and then the Shredder makes a report. Wait, 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 wait. It's the same Shredder in the 2003 series that killed Baxter Stockman limb by limb and killed everyone he could? Why is this such a mumbling idiot? Okay, I am not going to be critical about this show because I have n no idea about it. But anyway, we cut back to these two and they strap this poor, poor giant who just wanted some friends probably or food. And yeah, they run. And they get the crystal from his pouch. And they get the crystal, they uh, go down Jack's beanstalk. And when Jack... Drops his beanstalk. They go through the portal just in time. And they come back with the rabbit. Now the rabbit has the crystal. Um, and the shredder just mumbles again for no apparent reason. And then they use the crystal for some... Somehow. I don't really know how they used it. Maybe it's like a radar or something like that. But, yeah. Then the... Bunny is now an Easter Bunny, which is the, uh, probably the only sign of Easter other than Beelab and Narcissus being in rabbit costumes, which could have happened on any holiday. But anyway, I give this episode 4 out of 5 pizzas, and I'm going to do this for all my super reviews from now on, and uh, I think it's a pretty decent episode. Until next time. Oh god, I am done.